Greetings, adventurers, and welcome back to my modding adventure. Um, as you can maybe see by the tab of the I have quite a lot that we might get to, but I'm going to, you know, see how long uh, the video will be. Um, I expect the pace of me adding mods to increase as, you know, I, I stop feeling the need to say things I've already said before. Uh, so we're just going to play that by ear. Uh, we're going to start off. I have three mods here that are very easy to install that I just wanted to go ahead and get out of the way because they don't have any requirements or special install instructions. They are just either uh, armor replacers like the guard armor replacer and the unplayable factions armors. They replace the armors for these factions. I'll go ahead through them real quick. I'll just show you some of the pictures. This is Guard's Armor Replacer. This is my favorite. I just love the look of them. It seems vanilla, just like more realistic vanilla, but it's still like, I don't know. It, it feels like it still matches to me, especially with little details like the bear there on the gorget. And <clears throat> yeah, this is my favorite. Weird. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, this is, again, why you read everything, because uh, here we have, and, you know, maybe, who knows why he didn't put it in the uh, normal thing up there. I mean, it is a very common mod to have that a lot of mods require, so it's not a big deal. In fact, I have it up here, so I guess we'll just go ahead and do that first. <clears throat> Unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. No requirements, or so it says right there. Bloop, 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 bugs. Choir, I have like 16640. All right, so yeah. Read through everything again, even though I already did it. So uh, just to show you, I'm serious. So yeah, we'll do this and the, uh, oh, it's a little hefty. It won't take too long. Oh, maybe while I'm doing this, I should actually, since I'm starting a new mod list, I should go ahead and give. Nexus my money for a month or so. Close and clay cloaks of Skyrim. Winter is coming. I don't need that yet. Cloaks of Skyrim. I have not looked at that in a while. That's there. There was a free texture. Ooh. Oh, I can already tell those look nice. Let's take a look. See, shall we? Oh, that uh, looks pretty nice. See, and this is exactly how it starts. <laughs> they have Cloaks of Skyrim, Cloaks of Skyrim Retextured, Cloaks of Skyrim Retextured SE Female Mesh Patch. Yeah, you just need to do all of that because that's the one I know. What is Wiko? That sounds familiar. Windsong Immersive Character Overhaul. That's an old one. All right. Okay. So, right. Need to install these first. Let's see. And this is why I might as well. Uh, I guess I'm just going to leave this page up and we'll work our way through these over time. Cloaks of Skyrim. That's a classic, too. <laughs> And we've got the female patch thing. Well, let's finish these first. Then we'll go through all the conflicts. Guard's armor replacer. That's probably a good sized one, yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah, there's the ticket. About three times as fast. Almost four times. Heck yeah. That'll make uh, some of these uh, other ones coming up a lot easier too. Oh, and there was also, don't forget, the whole reason we did that earlier was this uh, FOMOD installer here. I don't know what FOMOD stands for, but it, as far as I understand it, is like a collection it's like it uh, gives you options when you install it and will also often like auto detect stuff that you already have. 
All right, well, now that we've done everything related to guards, armor replacer, at least, let's see what the conflicts are. Now, generally, this can seem confusing at first. I find it's easy just to start with whatever the first one is and get a sense of whatever, you know, it is. And then it kind of auto-fills in other ones as you go. And uh, it also usually tells you a suggestion based on, you know, I assume because obviously since this is uh, something that's required or something that fixes this, this loads before, so everything that it conflicts will, uh, for the female mesh thing, will come after and therefore fix it. Suggest it after. Yep, yeah, because we want the retextured to come after the original mod because it's literally retexturing everything. And then Cloaks of Skyrim... Retect the female thing versus the normal thing after. Yep, because again, the female meshes. And then, yeah. So the rest of them are all filled in. So it's usually pretty easy. And after you save it, it'll auto deploy, I think. I'll just do it anyways. But yeah. Alright, and then these other ones are also very easy. They didn't have any install instructions or anything. See, that's well, because uh, this OBIS. I believe I'm going to use, but it'll probably reference it just it's it like it can just go on and on adding stuff isn't that means you need OBI loot yeah we're just gonna have to come to the rest of this later ah oh, that one's gonna be pretty easy to do now so as this says here this OBIS mod Organized bandits in Skyrim. Adds 2,500 different bandits to the leveled list with different tiers, with from wannabes to super bandit lords. It just adds so much like variety and to like. Because even in a game like Skyrim, which is arguably high fantasy, I like to limit when like just normal people are doing things. And I like to have more of normal people doing things than that and you know and to have the really high fantasy stuff be uh the exception so doing stuff like this and there's also a, a job board is this part of it too this might there's also a job board mod but this might see and patrols it just keeps going <laughs> notice board yep yeah. well you just check and Do you have requirements? No. Mercenaries. Okay, well this doesn't have any requirements it looks like. Don't have open cities. Alright, we should be able to do this without much issue. Alright. So we got notice board. Oh, the patrols. Oh, it doesn't have a not a requirement. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so did I already do OBIS? No, I just did notice board. Oh, I don't think I want this one specifically. Uh, eh, I think I will maybe give this one a try another time. And there's the patch, unplayable OBIS patch. And that's all of that. Now you might have noticed already, but I am probably on the verge of installing 10 mods without ever having opened the game or anything. I'm going to have to start a new game to test it with what some of them said. Um, so I've just decided to go in and <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty comfortable with all of these. I've I've used them before, so. One conflicting file. Cube maps. Steel. Hmm, who has better? I mean, they're both like the same generation of mods, so I don't think it matters. 
as I did before, because I know the Heavy Legion, like, and armor thing looks cool, so maybe it's... <clears throat> cube maps will look nice. Also steel cube map. Yeah, we'll keep the Heavy Legion one last. Alright, last... I'm coming up on the end here. Static Mesh Improvement Mod. Mouse Lazy is... Um, Nexus Mod Manager is the old version of Vortex, so if you see Nexus Mod Manager on an old page, it's usually referring to Vortex. Or you can, you know, like I said in the other video, use Mod Organizer too, whatever floats your boat. And we already have the USSEP. Yep, yeah, and here you can see it has used Vortex MO2. No other patches or anything. Even going fast, that one's a little beefy. And then after that one's down, done downloading, we will install the... Uh, I forget the original full name of this, but it's Skyrim 2020X. And uh, it's just a texture replacer. The original one, this is the downscale one. I'm going to be using... Now you can see here on the page... Uh, because it normally needs E and B series for certain particle effects. And if we go back to the uh, full scale page, oh, well, it has it right here, actually. So community shaders, which I looked at earlier. Um, got SSC engine fixes, which we haven't downloaded yet this time. All right, so we've got engine fixes and we read the directions. Ah, see how long this 4K one's going to take, even with the extra download speed? It'll be a while, but still, I'll get these started. So we got... And uh, you can see, if you read the directions, that this one has to be manually extracted, so this would be a good example to do, which I will have to do after that other thing's down download. And actually, it's just extracting a, some, some DLLs there, so should be fine. Let's just go ahead and come over here and extract here. And it adds some random DLLs in. And we can just delete that. I just want to show you here, it's said that this thing for the community shaders requires shader tool updated, but when you see it, it's not here and it actually is community shaders now. Go ahead and do the community shaders install now. Got that queued up also. And then this vanilla HDR thing, which will come after it. All right, and after all of that is done downloading, <laughs> I will start a new game and kind of just do a montage of showing how it looks now that we've done this little bit of work and how especially i love how the guards armor replacer uh changes up what everyone's wearing at the beginning of the game 